Hi everyone, this is Heba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to be using the Kelly Perky Traveler's Notebook Kit and the Perry Stamp Set. Now these kits and the stamp sets um, will be released today so you can grab yourself one of these kits. And these kits come with uh, pattern paper, a bunch of pattern paper, a sticker sheet, some alpha stickers, and a small stamp set which I will be using today. Now all the links will be down below if you want to grab yourself a stamp set. So I'm going to grab that stamp set that came in the summer vacation traveler's notebook kit and I'm going to stamp out that little sun that says lazy day. And I'm going to stamp it right in the center of my picture and call that side of my layout done. I just want to keep it simple because I really like this picture and I thought just a small stamp right in the middle is plenty. So I'm just gonna stick that down and start working on the right side of my page. Now I went through these papers and I've used a lot of them by the way in a different project that you guys will get to see very soon. But I thought this really subtle pattern paper and it was kind of reddish pink and I thought it looked really nicely with my picture so I decided to use that as my background for the right side of my page. What I want to do is use the Perry stamp set and this is also a new release in the shop. I'm going to use that to stamp out summer. And this stamp set is so bold and fun that I thought it worked really nicely with the layout. And all I did was I measured with a ruler first and I always grab one of the alphas to help me kind of add my lines and have the right space between my letters and my words. But anyways, I decided to use my dye ink, which I usually don't. I'm not a big fan of dye ink, but I thought I will double stamp it because I really wanted that shade of gray. I didn't want to stamp it in black. So I went with the dye ink and it worked out pretty well. You can see it's pretty easy to double stamp with these stamps. Um, it was not that hard to find my first stamp and just double stamp it, if you know what I mean. But once I stamp that out and I really like how that looks, I will go ahead and stick down my pattern paper. Now with that same stamp set that came in the summer vacation kit, I'm going to stamp out this little phrase or sentiment that says a day at the pool, beach, or lake. And um, I'm going to stamp it out with some light gray and then I'll check pool. Um, I really like how that looks. I just stamp it right under my title. And now I want to start embellishing. I know I have a lot of summer themed embellishments. So I'm going to start going through them. I really like that pink flamingo and the soda. I even thought of using that black frame for my title, but decide against it. I end up using the little soda. Well, it's not little, that large soda embellishment, even though I was really going for the flamingo. But I wanted something like tall and skinny sit right there in the corner. So the soda looked much better. So I'm just going to go with that. I do want to add some more embellishments right there in the corner. So I thought I would stamp out, um, I believe I stamp out sunshine and smiles. I want to use that stamp set. So, and I really want it to look like an embellishment, not that I stamped it out. So I'm trying to look for a label of some sort to stamp that in. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp out Sunshine and Smiles right on this pink embellishment that already says Wild and Free and I really like how that turned out. It just looks like it's part of the embellishment but it's kind of too big so I'm going to trim it down and add it right on top of my bottle.
I really wanted to add some more of that dark pink to my layout so I go through my embellishments and I found a chipboard that matched really nicely and I will be adding that right above my title. I will also be grabbing my crystal drops and adding some around my soda bottle. It looked pretty neat. It looked kind of like um, bubbles coming out of my bottle, which I really like. But I hope I was able to inspire you guys on different ways to use your own Kelly Perky Traveler's Notebook Kit and the new Perry Alpha stamp set. I will be adding all the links down below and I believe I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye. Click on the screen if you want to see some more of my Traveler's Notebook videos.